you know, the very big downside or the very big risk where a man invests into another man's child and then at some stage in the future they break up and he's like, well, all that time and money and investments and care and love and everything that I put into this child has been a complete and total waste of time and it's a big risk. So we make videos about dating outside of the West and dating women from Ukraine. And the reason is we are Ukrainian matchmakers helping men from the West meet women from Ukraine and we've done it for many, many years. So we have a reasonable amount of experience and this topic today is about men that date or want to date or consider dating or maybe possibly don't want to date women with children. So let's get into it. Shall my name we? is Luba. And my name is Stryker. Now, yes, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Talking about kids. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of guys would say to not date a woman with kids, right? And in many cases, we say this to our clients too, depending on our client, right? Depending on his age, what, is, um, what he's doing in life, whatever it is, whatever his circumstances. And we say, like don't, like, don't worry about women with kids, okay? You don't need to do that. And for some reason, men seem to think, and I know there's going to be comments down below, about uh, never date a woman with kids, okay? And there's a lot of red pill content about that, a lot of manosphere stuff and all that kind of stuff. Um, and because for some reason, I, I believe that most men, or some men, think that when you date a woman with kids, you're dating a woman with children, and these children are like young brats, you know? And the man is not the man of the house, and he's being hit on the head with a rolling pin by the missus because he hasn't done anything, he hasn't taken out the garbage correctly, and he can't discipline the kids and all that stuff. Okay, so there's different circumstances around why somebody would consider to date a woman uh, with a child. And the first one is, Lua? What's that? Uh, so I want to go back for a second. It's one of the most like there's two like kind of comments uh, mostly on uh, our channel and uh, channels of matchmakers is like oh you know Ukrainian ladies are scammers or whatever gold diggers and the second is one like they're all single moms and obviously like from a database of 1700 girls we have ladies with children without children with English without English with uh, with grown up kids uh, with uh, you know and and what like for any kind of guy like for any request so the very first um question that we already always asking our client is do you already have children and do you want to have children right? yeah 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 because like that determines a lot right because obviously if somebody's saying never date a woman with kids chances are that they don't have kids right because if you had kids maybe you would think differently you think okay well i already have kids and it'd be nice to you know have a, a, another kid usually like I see you know? you know I see on the west uh, a little bit different um, uh, tendency can I say that mm -hmm. and then in Ukraine like if the guy has children like it's usually and, and he divorced like he usually love his children a lot and we have clients who has like four children we have clients who has two children and he is really really willing to create his family even bigger usually these type of guys they want to have more children and they are open for the lady with the child because for, for him he understand that and he like if he is not selfish he understand that you know she need to accept his two children mm. and uh, it is much easier to accept children when you already have one when you understand what to accept for, expect from children rather than the lady who never had a child and then she has two now uh, that is yours and and you expecting that she will be loving and caring mom for them or like at least like half mom right like because mm. the mom is taking uh, the other uh, part-time uh, in the life of your children so that is very different and um, so on my opinion, as a matchmaker, it makes much more sense and give much better result if you having children and, and you have a, like maybe half-time custody or something on these children and you taking a lady with a child and maybe hypothetically you want to have a children uh, with your, you, you want to have more children with your. So that's number two. That's number two. So, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, um, you want to have, you want to have kids with her. So that's something that, that that doesn't really get talked about, you know, when people say, oh, don't have, don't take a woman that has kids, okay? But maybe you want to have kids, right? So, and I understand the, you know, the very big downside or the very big risk where a man invests into another man's child that he's, that she's had with him. And then at some stage in the future, they break up. And he's like, well, all that time and money and investments and care and love and everything that I put into this child has been a complete and total waste of time. And it's a big risk. So I get all of that. But one thing to think about is that if you have a child with her, you're still putting time and investment into it. Yes, there's obviously two children, but that child that you have with her is always going to be your child, isn't it? So you're always going to be a loving, caring father just for two kids. And I think that, you know, if you if you 
try and internalize that a little bit differently than, oh man, I'm just gonna get woken up in the morning with some bratty kid that's not mine, it's whacking me on the head with some soft toy or something like that. It's, the, it's, a, different, it's a different scenario. So do you want to have more kids with her um, in the future? And, and, well actually it leads me to another point here, but yeah, do you wanna have kids with her in the future? But that also leads on to another uh, point here, which is that maybe you've left it quite a long time to have kids, and so time's ticking, the man's biological clock is ticking as well, don't care what anybody says, as the man gets older, he deteriorates, his sperm also, his count goes down lower, um, higher risk of other uh, diseases as well, same as the woman, it just happens a bit later, but he um, may have missed the boat, and now it's like, okay, now he has to scramble to figure it out, maybe he really, really wants to, wants to have a kid of his own that carries his genes, and so if he was to choose a, uh, to date a woman who already has a child, then the age gap is can be stretched out. We always say that, and it's yeah. true. Um, you know what, like I heard that several times, and I want to make a point here, and I want to hear your opinion, guys, is that I think that Western ladies, mm, like it's what I heard from friends of friend or something. So when the Western woman has a child and um, she divorced and she has like these two children and then she meet a guy, on the West it's a little bit different. Like I hear that, you know, the guy is just dating the lady with the three children, with four children. And I'm like, it's surprising because in Ukraine, like Ukrainian men probably would not take a woman with a two or three children, uh, like most of the time. But yeah. the interesting part is that I know that guys, and I think that this is part, of course, there's investment in a child, there's this and this, but mostly the guy very scared of hearing that it's not your son don't tell him what to do mm. but the Ukrainian lady honestly we have and is it true like is it like kind of like it's yeah. not pleasant thing to say yeah. you know you put all your heart and you want to help and you want to uh, you want to like and you really, can't, yeah, you can't discipline the child yeah. I mean discipline children but different Ukrainian than woman like if because like I will explain uh, somehow shortly so most of the time Ukrainian man will not take part in the life of the child maybe maybe he will give money like because he will have to like this child support that will be like 30 like maybe 50 dollars a month that's all he will not take part as a child and most with the of child the, with the child he will um, not as a child no <laughs> with the child he will not take part so yes financial support that's it maybe sometimes he will speak but it will not be like on us in us most of the time not saying always that you know the guy is taking like one week at fathers one day a week at mothers one week at mothers one week at fathers like they will not and the guy usually just you know he tried to pay and that's it he doesn't like he doesn't really want he very fastly find another family have another child you know and and the circle goes on but it's his life so you Ukrainian woman, all of our ladies who got married and who has a child, and I hope that our clients will comment on here and will say how appreciative are the ladies for their relationship with their for the for the relationship between their American husband or Western husband and their child. This is one of the most important traits that the lady is looking for. And she will be extremely, extremely grateful if you will take um, as a, a father role uh, for this child. And at this point, like I'm thinking about uh, two of our um, couples uh, where the child is 11 years old and another one is, uh, I think he's 13 or 14. Kids themselves say, can I ask your, uh, can I call you dad? You know, because their relationship are so, so good. And uh, it's just like on the top of my head, like, and they are in such a good relationship. And I know that guys taking stereotype about like how the Western woman would treat and say, don't tell him what to do, it's my son, don't do this. No, if you're taking care of Ukrainian uh, woman and Ukrainian child, she would be very, very appreciative. And she would probably never tell you that, oh, don't do it because it's not your son. She would be very, very appreciative. This, that, is, that is like, I think what scare the guys that they will not be a real father for this child. And that's why they don't want to mm. like take it serious to get to get attached to get yeah 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 of course of course because I mean there's I mean it's risk like it's definitely risk taking on another another man's child but we stopped on a point that you know you can take a lady with a bigger age gap uh, if you are like maybe let's say 55 and you want somebody younger because you want to have a child like it's much more likely that you know if she has a child she would uh, consider that option but Yes. I think it's our last. Uh, point, well, just, I'll just say there, yeah, the reason is because like she's in a different stage of her life cycle and she could be con con convinced to have another child as well. If the man has a shit together, of course. So, uh, so I mean, it's, diff it's something to consider, okay? But it's not applicable to everybody, um, to, to all the guys out there, but it is something to consider. But if you just see like headlines and, you know, red pill memes that say you never take a woman, only date women under the age of 25, regardless how old you are, and never take a woman with kids, well, you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. 
Um, the other one too is, yes, important one, is the age of the kids. People don't talk about this. They don't. And it's like so important because um, in Ukraine, and I hope, I, I mean, I, I think all over the world, the lady can have a, can be 40 years old or let's say 38 years old, right? So she is still good to have child, but her, her kid can be 18 years old, can be 12 years old, can be five years old, can be mm. one years old. You know, we like the variety of that can be huge. And I think that we spoke about this before a little bit that, you know, like if you if she's 38 uh, and she has adult child, do you consider that as a child child? Like we, we had uh, this like one time that the lady didn't put like that she has children. And then um, when I interviewed her, she said, oh, my daughter said, but you said on your profile that you like, and she's 50 years, she's 49 years old, Tell this woman. And she said, yeah, my daughter is 30. I didn't think that I need to put to put her in like my profile because, you know, yeah. and, and that is that is the thing. So if she has an 18 or even like 15 years well, old. That's what kid, I was going to say. Yeah. That's, that's what I was saying there is that if the child, maybe she has two kids and people are like, I'm not taking on a woman with two kids well if the kids are like 17 or six, say 16 and 18 these kids are gone man they're going to university they're going out to work they've got their own thing to do and then it's not an issue like she could have had children at a younger age and then she still makes her like relatively young in terms of a young in terms of a mother um so she may have already had those kids and those yeah. kids are like going to be gone in a year two years three years four years or there might be even a certain age where it's like they kind of do their own thing you know, it's not like you have to feed them and do all that stuff. They kind of do all that stuff themselves. So, and, and, and it, would all, really? <laughs> it would all just, so it would all just come down to like, how old are you and what is achievable for you um, at your age, right? For me, this video is more about being open-minded because I, I'm sure that there would be bad comments saying like, no, never single moms. It's like, it's like single moms. It's like somebody with a disease, you know, it's like, it's, it's how it sounds <laughs> like, but it's not that I'm pushing again, but stri striker is right. When we have a client, uh, like, I was the, the first one who started pushing the English speaking ladies. You know, in our database, it's like from 1700, it's 900 something, like it's ladies who speak English. So for me, it's, um, you know, I'm an interpreter with all this experience. I still will be always on your date or our assistant, but I don't have, I don't want to translate. I basically want you to meet somebody with, uh, with English speaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, like if your situation is applicable that you should take or it's better for you, it benefit you to take a lady without a child, of course, Course we will introduce you to that but you need to be reasonable and realistic this this like a line that we go through all of our like 400 videos that you need to be reasonable and realistic and everything need to be applicable to your situation because again if you have two children that coming to your home every weekend or every week and she has no children and you will expect that she will adore your kids it most likely, like I'm telling you right now, it most likely will not happen because she doesn't have that love. She doesn't have that feelings built in her yet. Okay. But if she has a child, that is different. You know, yes, there would be a lot of challenges. There would be a lot of struggles. You know, maybe kids will not get along at the beginning. Maybe, And also, you know what is the worst? It's like the kids from both sides, from your side and your side, can be very jealous. And mm -hmm. they will be, for sure. They will try to, like, be capricious. They will try to do something nasty. They like At, at all the ages, most of the time, all the ages. So there are going to be hundreds of different complications. But if you are smart about that, and, you know, if you are friends with these kids, if you're friends with her, if you talk about everything, if you discuss with her everything, then the situation would be much different. So, yeah, so, so the thing really does come down to, like, I guess two final points. So the, if the guy is reasonable, and we're pretty good at sort of, you know, explaining when we have our coaching calls before the client signs up, uh, you know, what reasonable means and what, what we would expect to um, from him in order for him to be successful. But we have had a couple of switcheroos on us where they all they of a sudden, us. Where, where they sign up and they say, look, actually, I, you know, I wouldn't, you know, the age gap all of a sudden went big and it was like, I actually don't want a woman with a child. And so like, okay, so now we're, now we're, we're doing the impossible match, which is like a guy, say, in his mid fifties, looking for a woman in her late twenties who, who doesn't have children. Um, I think even one said he didn't want her to have children, right? I think we did a video about that. In the future. Yeah, yeah. So, but the thing is, is like that becomes so difficult to match because why would a woman in her twenties um, want to be with a man in their fifties, right? You know, I mean, there are some exceptions, of course. Uh, and especially, but if she doesn't have a child, then you know, why does she really need this man? And that, and that's the, that, like the key to it. There is that he has to be reasonable, isn't it? If he's that age and still wants to have kids, okay, he needs to be reasonable. Okay, we can't. We, there's no machine that we squeeze the handle and we squeeze out a woman that's perfect and she has everything perfect. Yeah, we're looking at like using. You know, this is like there's real human beings that we are dealing with here so and the thing is when it comes to if a woman already has a child and she is in her 20s well then the thing the reason that she's going to consider a man with such a large age gap is because she really really needs a man 
And that's why it works with dating over in some of these other countries with lower socioeconomics because they still need a man, unlike in the West where they don't really need a man. And if you know people get upset with that and say, well, I don't want some woman who's going to use me. Well, that's how you've internalized it yourself. It's not that she's using you. She's needing you and you need to be useful. And if that doesn't sort of sit well, well, there's plenty of women in the West that don't need a man and maybe that's a better place to stay and to date. But that's the end of the video.